What's going on guys? So today we're talking about hiding your keys. Well, you can really hide anything. This is basically a homemade stash box. Uh, but specifically talking about hiding your house key, a spare house key. Now this obviously only works if you have some kind of a lawn. It could be a very small lawn or it could be a very large lawn. It works for me because I have a quite large lawn. I'm sitting on uh, a three-quarter acre lot, which is a very common lot in the area, lot size anyway, and of course in you know in the state, it's it's pretty pretty standard a lot of places a three-quarter acre lot. Um, but I also have the uh, lot that's adjoining uh, to this one. All right, so it's basically two lots together. And if you don't know, I live in the woods, so I quite literally have rocks everywhere. So it's not like you know, at a place to have a rock in the middle of the lawn. If you live in an area where everyone has pristine lawns and you have one fat old rock in the middle of it, it obviously draws attention to it, right? So this is basically just a homemade, you know, contraption to hide your key. And yes, I am telling the world that I keep a spare key outside. Uh, I'm very comfortable in saying that because not only do I have rocks everywhere, uh, this one is buried slightly below the surface. Okay, so there's dirt on top of it. Christine and I generally know where we keep it, and I dug it up, cleaned everything up completely, and I actually put a um, an O-ring on here because this was packed with dirt. Uh, this was sitting out there for probably three or four years. When Christina first moved in here um, and moved in with me, we decided to put a spare key outside. I made a, a copy for her, and we made a third copy to hide outside for emergency use only. And this took us about 25 minutes to find, and we knew about where it was. So I'm not afraid of anyone coming over and, and finding it. Uh, but I did want to make a video real quick showing it. It's very simple. This is a natural rock that we found on the property. Uh, it looks just like all the other rocks out there. And we just took an old pill bottle and hot glued it all around the base and the bottom uh, so that obviously it was connected. So we dug a tiny little hole, right? That was just big enough to fit the bottle and the bottle fits down inside the hole and then there's dirt that goes over the top of the rock and there's probably like a half inch to an inch of dirt on top there so again we know roughly the area so we have to dig up the dirt to find the rock but in the process you find other rocks too because it's they're everywhere you know the, the the rocky soil of pennsylvania they call them pennsylvania potatoes they're everywhere <laughs> people ask me if i ever miss new jersey and i say yeah there's a couple things i miss in new jersey uh certainly not the gun laws but i do definitely miss the tomatoes the gas prices and the dirt is the soil in Jersey is a lot better but anyway it's a very simple concept all right there's a push bottle so you can hear you know just like regular pill bottle you have to put some pressure in there to undo it there we go all right and what we do is we have a spare key and we have it inside of a little ziploc bag and inside the bottle and the reason for that is because we want an airtight seal we do not want any kind of water or moisture getting in there so it can rust the key because obviously that'll deform it and it may not work and like i said I threw on a fat o-ring on here just because originally this was packed with dirt the years and years of rain and all that stuff kind of creeped in there so it's kind of hard to get the bottle open originally so this will hopefully protect it if we do have to get to it uh, but worst case scenario if that's completely sealed i could just cut the bottle open it's thin plastic but I wanted to show this just because, I mean, there's a lot of products on the market. The fake rock, the fake rock looks like a fake rock. I mean, if you put it in a huge pile of rocks, it'll stand out. If you don't have a bunch of rocks around, it stands out because there's not a lot of rocks around. So the best thing you could do, my suggestion, the reason I'm making the video, is to make one yourself. Get a real rock, all right? But again, this only really works if you have a very similar situation to me. So, like, let's say you have... Um, Let's say you have a rock wall, a cultivated rock wall, some stone or something that you got from the store, you have a pathway or something. Use one of the real stones that you have on your property and do something similar. You know, use something that's actually there that does not stand out. Um, you know, I get very nervous about stuff like that and I turn into MacGyver and trying to hide things. You know, if I, well, originally we had the spare key, I came up with all different ideas. I'm like, oh, I'll use the magnetic thing and I'll put it over here or I'll put it in the grill. So many people do that. They put a spare key in their grill or they'll keep it, you know, obviously under the mat by the door or on a door sill. There's all these like common places, but Christine and I are both on the same page. <laughs> we got, we turned into MacGyver and, and decided to do this. So I wanted to share that idea. Um, make sure if you are hiding a spare key for your home, don't make it obvious. You know, I mean, just do something very creative. Get super creative. 
because you don't want anyone to find it. That's the whole point. But you want to know where it is. We got so creative that it took us 25 minutes to find the thing. All right. And we knew about where it was. So I feel very safe, safe enough to tell the world. I have a spare key outside my house. Uh, if you happen to find it, you get to win the prize of coming in. Uh, but you will certainly be surprised when you get in. So again, not too concerned as far as uh, uh, theft or safety. But uh, I did want to share the idea just because I thought it was cool. And I uh, wanted to see if anyone else can find value in this, you know. Again, you can post suggestions down below. Uh, not everyone has the same situation. I don't know, like, if I lived in an apartment building where I would hide a spare key. I probably just wouldn't <laughs> just because it's, you know, everyone has access to everything. Uh, having a standalone home is a little bit different. Uh, the chances of someone coming on the property to begin with is slim. If they do come in, they're more than likely going to break in. They're not going to look for a spare key. Uh, it's just don't make it easy. Don't make it easy for criminals. Don't be that person that has a spare key under their welcome mat. I mean, come on, it's too cliche. If you do want to hide a spare key, get creative like this. I guess that's the message out there. For all the people watching who have a spare key under their mat, probably not a good idea. Um, there's a ton of stuff you could do. I mean, if you happen to have a little garden or something, you can hollow out the bottom of a garden gnome or, you know, a garden ornament or something like that. Um, you can you could really get creative with stuff. Just think outside the box. That's the point. Uh, I happen to know someone personally, and I could say this because I'm not going to say who it is, obviously, but they put a key behind the molding for their window, all right, and then literally put it onto the house. So, like, in a, an emergency, they can rip off the, the molding around one of their windows and have access to that key, and it can always replace a little piece of wood. It's not that expensive. So that's creative. That's very creative. But, uh, but yeah, just throwing it out there. I know it's kind of random, but I want to share with everyone since we, we dug it up and wanted to see if the key was still good, and it was A-OK, -okay, completely sealed, so there's no problems at all, and uh, just clean it up, add the O-ring, and we're going we're gonna to throw it back out there. Anyway, just wanted to share that with everyone just because it was different. All right, and again, I know I'm telling the world I'm hiding a key outside, but you never know. Maybe I'm not. Maybe this is just misleading. But regardless, it's a really great idea, isn't it? Uh, I, will, I will say I definitely 100% had this out there for the last, I want to say, four years, four and a half years. Christina been, and I have been married for five years, and I think she moved in uh, six months or something after we started dating. So uh, around there. I'm not good with dates. But uh, it, it was definitely out there for many years. The fact that it may or may not go out there, who knows? But I'm just going to say that if it is out there, it's extremely hard to find. So that's all for now. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.